Hello, everybody, Luke Shoulder, Field of Grounds for X Hybrids. No doubt the farm economy has changed quite a bit over the last few months, but one thing that hasn't changed is our willingness to spend money if it's going to make us money. Good news is, after this previous year's research, we've now learned of a few new PFR proven products that can substantially impact our more significant investments of fungicide, fuller nutrition. So now we'll dive into three different tactics or strategies that our PFR team took in order to try to improve the profitability of our fungicide or foliar application. The first of those is adjuvants. Adjuvants are primarily attempting to accomplish two things, slow down evaporation and increase absorption. After last year's research, we now have two PFR proven fungicide adjuvants in corn. Foltech as well as Zion. Each of these products has a number of different components. In fact, the Foltech label states it has about eight to nine different components. To me, the most significant is the fact that it's a pH adjuster as well as a deposition aid. The Zion product, the label states about four to six different things that it includes. To go along with that is a deposition aid as well as an anti-evaporation mechanism. But as you can see, seven to $12 profitability. But to me, what's more impressive is the fact that we conducted all these studies with a ground rig at 20 gallon the acre. So coverage isn't likely a limiting factor. Now, if you haven't seen these charts, these are new to the 2024 PFR book. It's what we call these yield and ROI win percentages. And what's impressive is the full tech specifically. Over 90% of the time, it gave us a yield bump. And over 80% of the time, it made us money. Now, we saw that similar trend in soybeans. Full tech and Zion are now PFR proven fungicide adjuvants in soybeans as well with a 15 to 20, nearly $21 ROI. Now our overall ROI win percentages weren't quite as high as the full tech in corn, but they're still over 60% approaching 70%. Here's a picture that our PFR team took from the plots. And oftentimes when I look at a picture, I think, does it really depict the plot? According to the PFR team, it does. And I think those, those corn leaves um, represent the fact that that full tech and Zion are increasing absorption and protecting that plant better. The second component is nozzles. After last year's research, we now have three new PFR proven nozzles with fungicide and insecticide in soybeans. The green leaf, as well as the two T-Jet nozzles to the right, the standard flat fan as well as twin jet. But you can see we have pretty large disparity in that overall profitability. Now here's a picture from, from the end of the boom, okay? And it really demonstrates two things. It demonstrates the significant difference in angles as well as the number of fines. If you look at the end of that, that boom or that, that picture on the left, that green leaf nozzle, what you're seeing is the, the pattern from two different nozzles. Within each of those nozzle bodies, that green leaf, they actually have two different nozzles. The one closest to the camera has got a, a nozzle going down as well as back. 15 inches away or further away from the camera, there's a nozzle going down and then forward. So you can see a lot of different angles that we're hitting those beans uh, to protect them with that green leaf uh, nozzle. And then as you move left to right, you got more of that standard traditional um, single uh, uh, nozzle in the center. And then the twin jet does have two orifices, one going front or uh, forward and one going back. But you can see also in that twin jet, there appears to be a few more fines, which may uh, be indicative of the of the ROI that we just saw. Now, here's a coverage uh, uh, indication of these different nozzles. This is a water sensitive paper that the PFR team clipped to the top of the soybean canopy. Now, if you look at these pictures, you're probably thinking, why didn't that twin jet, uh, you know, economically perform better? And I think we have to keep in mind while there's more blue, blue represents where the water droplets hit that water sensitive paper on the soybean leaves is. That twin jet has a lot more blue, but they're also smaller droplets. And we know that while these droplets did reach the soybean leaf, when we have smaller droplets, there's two things that occur. There's a higher propensity for those uh, droplets to, to move with wind and drift, but also smaller droplets evaporate quicker. So as you move from right to left, the volume of small droplets goes down. As you see, that green leaf nozzle has a lot coarser droplets, as well as you can see by those smears that that's demonstrating the angle. So when we think about coverage, it's not all about just more droplets. It's also about droplet size as well as angles is likely playing a role. And then the last component to this efficiency with foliar and fungicide is around nanotechnology. I, I imagine by now most of you have heard of this particular technology. It's been used in the medical field for a while. It's pretty new to agriculture, though. But this is what it does. And I want you to think about the nanoparticle as a really, really small particle or molecule. To kind of demonstrate that or give you an indication of that, is 
Our fingernails grow about one nanometer per second. Pretty hard to see our fingernails grow. That's just how small that particle is. Here's an illustration from aqua yield. The green circle or sphere is representing that nanoparticle, but that nanoparticle, while small, has a tremendous ability to uh, magnetize whatever we're putting in the tank or crop protection uh, product that we're putting in the tank, which is represented by those blue circles, whether it be fungicide or foliar. And then that really small nanoparticle can is a lot more probable to get in that leaf loaded with whatever crop protection we put in with it. Now here's the data from the last three years. NanoPro is now PFR proven after last year's research. So we took two PFR proven uh, products in the Versamax Manganese, Foliar Nutrition, and Lucento plus Mustang Max, so a fungicide plus insecticide. While they weren't very profitable, even though they're PFR proven, they weren't very profitable the last three years in this research, a dollar to $2.30 profitable, look at the, the, the difference in ROI when we added the additional three to $4 investment that is NanoPro, that nanotechnology. Just a simple three to $4 investment increased the likelihood that we have more of that fuller nutrition as well as fungicide in the plant to the tune of a five or six times uh, higher profitability. So really proven that that particle size is making a difference to increase the likelihood of getting those crop protection products actually into the plan. So in summary, if we think about increasing the efficiency of that fungicide or foliar application, PFR proven adjuvants, they're minimal investment with just a high likelihood to increase that, that return on investment when we're using those with fungicide. Nozzle selection, when I think about the most effective, it's not just about that, them blue droplets and coverage, it's also about droplet size and minimizing those small ones that in all likelihood do not get into the plant. And don't ignore this nanotechnology. That particle size is, to me, it's revolutionary. And certainly it's shown in terms of ROI when we pair that up with a fungicide or proven foliar nutrition product as well. So as always, if you have any questions around this topic or any other, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for tuning in.